program is a special edition of the program. Perhaps you hear the noise in the background. Well, we're still at a venue of the announcement of the Anambra governorship election result here at the INEC headquarters in Orca, the capital of Anambra said Welcome to the program, everyone. It's a special edition of the program, being that we're bringing you to you live from outside of the studio. So we're making a makeshift studio for you tonight. Uh, so you can get a sense of everything that we're bringing to you tonight on the program. So today, the people of Anambra State have decided, they now know who the governor will be for another four-year term. So let, let's go talking, everyone. We'll give you every details of how it all went down. We'll break it down for you so you can make sense of it all. Let's get talking to the party which won this election. But what you may describe as a landslide, Willie Obiano is the governor, re-elected one more time for the people of Anambra State. Joining us tonight on the program is the director uh, of the campaigns and a former ch national chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Chief Victor Ume. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on the program tonight. And I want to say congratulations to you uh, today. You see that for the last few minutes or so, there's been agitation. It looks so much that the victory of your party was not well received by other political parties. No, apart from that, um, the people uh, uh, making noise are uh, protesting. They were not given a, a copy of the results. At the same time, they gave me a copy of the results. PDP, APC, and UPP. Because, you know, you have to sign a lot of it to go around the 37 uh, political parties that contested the election. So they are saying that I shouldn't be given a copy. APC should not be given a copy. And uh, UPP should not be given a copy. And PDP should not be given a copy. That's the noise about. That's what the money is about, not about so the, the election. Is about, uh, it's not uh, about the election. About against INEC. They say INEC gave, gave us preferential treatment by giving us the copies of the results first. That's it, not anything about the election. They say every political party will get its, its own copy at the same time. I don't see the sense in So the, this is a copy of your own party? Yeah, um, the, the, that's the, the copy of the collected results, the final results. Okay. And so, signed by the, by the returning officer. And the returning yeah, officer. Yeah, that's correct. So this is a duplicate copy. It's a duplicate copy. Okay. And they're making noise that um, it's a preferential treatment if we are given these copies and they're asked to wait. So how many political own. parties were given? Four. APC, ABGA, PDP, and UPP. And you know, if you remove one, one sheet, the thing fades away as you go down the line. And they were asked to wait so that they can produce more so that they can get something you can read, something that is legible. And they are shouting that everybody will take it at the same time. Everybody, everybody will not take it at the same time. All right, let's talk because about the election. going to do with the election. Everywhere. Let's talk about the election. Yeah. How did your party win this election? Well, uh, it didn't come to us as a surprise. It's just that analysts have been uh, saying all kinds of things. On Thursday, the 16th of November, I was on Chinese TV, Sunrise Daily. When I discussed the issues that will determine this election, and I predicted that Abga will have a landslide victory if the election is credible. You know, if I make leads to the billing on not a credible election, Abga will win landslide. That was my statement. And today, I make leads to the billing, conducted a credible free and fair election. The police was uh, there to maintain peace, you know, maintain a, a great level of neutrality. And uh, the atmosphere was uh, good for a credible election to take place. What did you see? Abga winning the entire election, 21 local governments. It's been a while we've seen this kind of. The last time we saw this was about four years ago in Ekiti State, yeah. where a, a governorship candidate went all in the local government areas. So it comes with a lot of controversies. But this, this time around, you heard the reasons for some of the cancellation of the result, issues of buying of votes, issues of ballot snatching. Uh, did you hear that your party gave out monies for votes? Those are wild allegations because uh, some people who paid out money lost the election and uh, they couldn't understand that. Abga won this election on the strength of the governor's performance in the past three years and seven months, which I had put across uh, severally. And secondly, Abga is the reason for the stability in Anambra State. You know, the, the state has fared well under Abga for the past 11 years. And it is natural that the people want to keep 
a political party that has done well for them, you know, aside from the superlative performance the governor put up in three years and seven months. When they were making all kinds of claims that they would do this, they would do that, I said they won't have any chance in this election. And it has just played out. Because the governor has touched every community in this state. Okay, yes. before we talk about the governor, his mandate and his performance, let's touch on the conduct of this election. Sure. Did you hear that they were buying of votes during the election? Of course I had. They, they bought, that was what they relied upon. They didn't campaign. It was only after that went to the entire 21 local governments and they campaigned very vigorously, you know, meeting the people, talking to them, reminding them of the things the governor had done. And on each occasion, in every local government, large crowd will come out and the people will take over from us, telling us what the governor has done and why he must continue in office for a second term. You know, they were busy planning on how to share money so no, but, and no, buy votes. Your party did not buy, buy votes. How can you buy votes when the people are, are, are rooting for you? You heard about the, some arrests made by DSS. Not Abga people. They go and verify. No Abga the person was arrested. was working with for, for Abga. No, that's not true. It's not true. It never happened. There was no such incident. They know the people who are relying on money, not us. We went to the election on the strength of what the party has done, to the, done for the people. You know, they have not done anything for the people. So the only thing you can use to get the vote will be to pay money. So you're saying that... And they that collected their money and voted against them. So we will be not deserve this victory. Is that what you're saying? Oh, oh 100% deserved victory. You know, there's, you can't deceive the people when they are on their own, able to see what their governor has done for them. So if you come and tell them the governor has not done anything, they will not believe you because they feel the goodness of the government is running. So that's why it was difficult for them to use money and propaganda to swear the electorate to their direction. You know, nobody will ever want to see a government that is doing well leave the seat. All right. Yes. We, we take a break, but when we come back, we will talk more about the next four years, what the governor should focus on, and the atmosphere generally uh, in the background of the announcement uh, and the declaration of the winner in this race. Don't go anywhere, everyone. Join us again.